All right, so welcome back again to Knorr's Screen Gas. I'm Arnavino and I am back for another unboxing. And this time we are going to unbox another Xiaomi product and this is the Mi Pad. So I'm sorry if you will hear some noise. So there's some construction going outside, but then I need to unbox this. All right, so this is the Mi Pad and this is the highly anticipated tablet of the Xiaomi. And this is coming this May here in the Philippines. And uh, I'll be putting all the links in the description box of this video where you can purchase it. All right, so uh, as you can see, it's a typical economical box, which is a recycled box. And looking at the back, we will see that this is a 16 gigs of internal storage. And it's the NVIDIA Tegra K1 2.2 gigahertz with a uh, also a 7.9 inch IPS Retina display full HD which is a 2048 by 1536 pixels. So it's a 4x3 aspect ratio and it comes with a 2 gigs of RAM and then an 8 megapixel BSI camera rear and a 5 megapixel front camera with HD recording. So Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and other stuff there. Alright, so without further ado, let's go check this out and you will see, wow, look at how gorgeous this tablet is, all right? So this is the actual tablet and uh, let's put it here first and let's see the other stuff inside. So this is the uh, user manual. So there's a SIM tray ejector. This is the manual and with it, which is in Chinese. All right, so here's the adapter. It comes with a USB port and here, as you can see, it's a 2000 milliamp with five volts. And next, this is the micro USB to USB. And I think that's all the items inside the box. And let's see the Mi Pad. All right, so here is the Mi Pad, fully sealed and it's color white. And of course, we're going to unwrap this, which is listen to the unwrap. There you go. So that's the unboxing and that's my favorite part of the unboxing which is removing the plastic <laughs> all right so here's the mi pad and as you can see it's a very nice slick looking tablet and the back is really nice the glossy back texture is really soft and smooth and now we're going to take a look at the different parts and as you can see here at the upper left is the uh, Mi logo and then we have the 5 megapixel BSI front camera, the 7.9 inch IPS display although the bezel is not that well, very thin but just fine and then we have the capacitive button here at the bottom which let's see if it has a backlit and then the micro USB at the bottom for charging and then on the right side is the power button and the volume wrapper that has a silver color okay and then on the other side all right so this is the micro sd slot which we can put a micro sd since this is an expandable tablet and then on the top is we can see the 3.5 millimeter jack so moving on to the back we can see the noise cancellation pinhole mic and then here is also a hole which is for the uh, camera but i'm sure it's also a noise cancellation there but then this is the 8 megapixel bsi rear camera it doesn't come with a flash but of course this is a tablet which is not primarily for taking photos and here at the bottom we will see the speaker grill which is a stereotype speaker and the me logo and some certification there all right so without further ado let's go put this up and let's see eh, how it performs all right, so here we go. As you can see, if you watch my unboxing of the Redmi 2, you will see that it's pretty familiar with the interface since this is a MIUI or MIUI version 6. So this is just the tablet interface that we are seeing here. So let's see. It's very smooth so far. Wow, since this is a NVIDIA Tegra, so this will be a great performer tablet. All right, so let's check out the uh, camera. All right, so here's the rear camera. So I'll just take a sample shot here in a good lighting environment. And then there's the settings for the camera and other stuff. So it's very minimalist. Then it's a very nice, slick looking camera interface. All right, so here's the toggle for the notification. If I swipe to the uh, left, this is the notification and this is the quick menu. And as you can see, I can toggle the performance and other stuff here all right so i'll be installing some apps and games so we can go check this out 
and let's see how it does it perform if it's really a decent tablet for a productivity use. Alright, so upon installing the apps and games, so I found out that the games won't play if you install it on the SD card. So it only uh, recognizes the uh, apps if it's in the internal storage. So unfortunately, you need to root the device in order for you to play the games in your SD card. Alright, so first in the list is the NBA 2K14 and as you can see, it's not fully optimized for the tablet and uh, you will see that it's a 4 by 3 aspect ratio but then it's playable and uh, you will see here that it's very smooth so far so i'll put the volume up okay there so you will see the gameplay so the interface is 4 by 3 aspect ratio it's not fully optimized again for tablet so let's see here Since this is a Tegra NVIDIA K1 GPU, as you can see, it's fairly very smooth so far. And no issue of any drop frames. And I really like the display. As you can see, it's great in viewing angles. So let's just have a quick shot. Three. Okay, so that's the first game. Alright, so the next game is the Dungeon Hunter 4 and you will see this is optimized for the tablet and it's not having an issue on the aspect ratio and you will see it's very very smooth. Alright, so the last game we are checking out is the Nova 3 and this is a shooting game and this is a very high intensive 3D graphic game you will see it's very smooth and there you go this is the Xiaomi Mi Pad and as you can see this also comes with a LED notification which you will see here on the upper left of the uh, camera and the UI automatically converts into a landscape when you switch your tablet to portrait or landscape. So I really like the landscape mode. So as you can see, it's a very huge tablet. So although I can hold it in one hand, but then this will slip for sure. And I really can't navigate using one hand since this is very large. And although the MIUI features is still implemented with this tablet so I will be uh, checking it out on my full review and the great thing about this is as you can see there's an NTC yeah, so it's approved by the NTC of the Philippines and this is a really nice tablet so running on Android version 4.4.4 and let's see that version so KitKat so it's still not on the Lollipop but then the MIUI is uh, updating their software every week so uh, we might see an update with the Lollipop version with this tablet. Alright, so additional feature of the Mi Pad is this is an OTG capable tablet. So if I plug an OTG, it will be detected and we will see here. So USB storage connected. So I just click that and you will see it in the file explorer. Alright, so here in the explorer, you will see the USB is detected and you can now open your files with the OTG USB. So it's also easy to unplug just click the safe remove and just unplug the usb and there you go all right so here you go guys this is the mi pad and as you can see it has tons of features and great performance in terms of gaming and multitasking and it's very smooth ui so thanks to the version 6 of the mi ui so this is a very affordable tablet so just click on the description box of this video and you will see the pricing of this one and it will be available here in the philippines so be sure to check this out and if you're planning to purchase it so just leave a comment down below and let me know what do you think about the mi pad and what can you say about it so if you have requests on my upcoming video feel free to put it in the description box of this video and i'll be glad to read it and of course as always don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'm one of you know and see you on my next video